Okay, we're here with the uh, Apple IIe, and uh, Rob, I understand that uh, you used a machine very similar to this, or actually yeah, the same yeah. machine? This was the first computer that I ever used back in 1981, 1982. My father came home with an Apple II Plus that he bought used off of somebody that he knew at work, and put it together really easy. I just plugged the monitor into the wall, and plugged the keyboard into the wall and everything, and it was ready to go put the disc in. And the first game that I ever saw up here on the screen was Frogger. And I was just amazed by that right away in, in, in its green monochrome glory that it had. <laughs> which is well, I guess it was appropriate if you were using a green screen and you were yeah. actually playing the Frogger game. Yeah, I guess that kind of worked out yeah, for you. Uh, my sister and I, we just played it for hours. and then. He was part of um, an Apple II club that he ran out of the Brantford Flying Club in the basement back in the early 80s. And they would trade games, and we started building up this really large library of all these games. Huge software library, and really, I, I, most of my early childhood was spent with this computer. And it wasn't until probably about 1995 that we got another one. So we used the computer probably for about 15 years. Almost. And this is really all I knew. We had really interesting peripherals for I remember there was um, a little button that you could press on the side for a board on so you could press the button and it would print off the screen. So I would try and make graphics with the computer. Sometimes I would program things and then just press the print screen and print it off on my dot matrix printer. And the early computer graphics is really fascinating. Now you may not know this, we actually, you know, have just met recently, but I actually uh, went to one of those Apple II meetings. I I remember it being in a basement, and I'm not sure exactly where it was, but I bet you anything, because I remember somebody actually taking me to one of these meetings and actually uh, being introduced to people that had the Apple II. Mm -hmm. um, so that was actually, you know, sort of my history with the machine as well. Mm -hmm. And much like you, um, I also had just a monochrome green screen. So I guess it's it's been kind of an interesting thing for both of us to be able to come in the museum and actually uh, be able to see what the Apple II looked like in color. Yeah, I had I had a really brief hint of that back in back in the 80s. Uh, my my dad came home with with the with the television screen that he picked up over at Crazy Kelly's in Brantford, and he put it in. He couldn't quite make it to work, and it was all fuzzy and everything like that. And then I saw like brief moments of color of my favorite games. Oh, I gotta try this. Gotta try this, and it didn't work. And then he had to take it back, and I was all disappointed. And I didn't see a color Apple again until probably about 2000. And then again, I didn't see it for a while until I came here, and I was like, wow, color Apple. <laughs> so would it be fair? To, <laughs> so would it be fair to say that? Uh, uh, the, the Apple II has sort of uh, fostered your, your interest and love of computers from the beginning? It totally has. I used to sit at the computer and program it for hours and hours and hours and just make long programs that did just probably absolutely nothing really. But I would type in hours of code and then just let it go and wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think a lot of us did and I think that's how we sort of started with these mm -hmm. machines was actually being able to write our own stuff. And that's a, a real big difference between...